hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so today i'm coming back with magazine number 76 and this is the kit that comes with it which is the highland wildlife and today i'm playing with the blues today which is the coastal companions where we've got this beautiful otter the duck um you've got a little puffin um i mean i think i still think that's like a wren um you've got the little castle here and then you've got um thinking of you on the border especially for you on the um oval one um another oval have an utterly amazing day and you're so lovely i've also got one of the double-sided papers there that comes free with it you've got the foiled um sorry my computer's beeping um the foiled um paper printed um paper with that were um otters on and then you've got the printed one with the dark and this is all in beautiful matastic so i'm just going to pop that to the side um and i did get hold of some six by eight card blanks and that's what i'm going to be playing with um for this first card for this um large topper here which is the otter i'm just going to measure that because i think that is quite sizable yeah it's a six six by five at its widest point okay so i'm gonna bring in my trimmer first of all i don't need to fold that it's already um scored for me and the kit is gold foil so i'm gonna be coming in with that first of all and what i want to do or what i thought i would try and do first of all with this first card is just do the look of a card that um you know where you cut it away so i want the kind of that look to it but without doing the cutting away so what i'm going to do is do three panels um so i'm going to do um i think i'm going to go just two notches under the one for the side ones so let me do two of those that gold to the side for a second and then if i put this arm out then these ones need to be two notches under the eight so two notches under the eight so that should leave us around about six in the middle so let me just double check that with that ruler let's put it the right way around so it should be four sorry because it's six across the hole yeah so what i'm going to do for this middle panel is go if i go two notches under the four it might be too much so i'm going to start off with four inches by two notches under the eight I might take two notches off it, but let's just have a little look and see how those look. Because I do want the gap in between, but I don't want it to be too huge. So if I pop those down, and you can see I've got quite a nice even gap there. So I think that's going to be fine. So I'm going to get rid of those little bits there. Just chuck those in the bin. Now for these little panels on the side, I'm going to use this... Um, uh, check this sort of tartan here because it matches in oops, with the cardstock at the top so you've got a similar sort of effect there so i know it's going to go um, because i did those gold pieces two notches under the one i know this needs to be three quarters of an inch and again i'm going to need two of those one for each side and then i can pop that to the side so i've hardly taken anything out of that piece there and then I need to take them to seven and three quarters which is going to be four notches under the eight and again and then for the middle piece I want to take I'm going to go with the castle piece I don't want to use the otters I'm going to use that on another card and this one can come in at two notches under the four. So let's 
so we've got that there and do I want to come seven and three quarters that way and keep that on or do I want to cut that down a little bit let's just have a little look how that's going to look at the side I think I'm going to cut away from the top it's not going to take all of it off anyway so that needs to be seven and three quarters I believe and just check that There we go, so that's got that nice little view on there. Not that you're going to see an awful lot of it. And you've still got a nice little piece of tartan there. So let's pop that one out of the way for a second. We put that so far away now I won't find it when I want it, but hey ho. So I'm going to come in with my bone board and just give that a really good press down. Actually, I'll use that porcelain one because that does squash real, really, really good. So let's start with these um, gold pieces. So again, the glues that I'm using, they're always going to be the same. Oh, well, they have been for quite a while now. It's the um, Kalau all-purpose glue, which is that clear one that I used before. And then I use a little bit of the Kalau tacky glue just in the corners, just to um, keep those um, edges nicely flat for me. I just want to leave a nice amount of white at the side. And I'm going to do the same again on this side. And I'm just going to be wary that this may move for a little while. I mean, it may take uh, a minute or so for this white tacky glue to go off. So I'm going to give it a good press down. And then just turn it around, make sure they're nice and equal. And then if I pop that in the middle, we can see whether we want them. Just do that that way, because sometimes it's just a little bit easier to... So this one can come over just a tad. That's fine, okay. So then, then we can come in... this with them so I think I, I did um, fill up my bottles before I started because I, I have been actually I've been crafting since about 10 o'clock this morning working on my challenge of making these 500 cards so, let's just, so um, I did need to refill are nice and straight and that looks on the wonk yeah but sometimes the more you move things the more on the wonk they look all right i'm gonna go with that actually just gonna pop another little bit of glue under there give that a little press down Okay, once we get all these pieces on, it's going to fall into place. I'm quite sure what's on the back of there. Looks like ink of some kind, so I'm not sure what I've done there. It might have been when I was planning my card today. Right, so we've got that piece going on. And this, I think I'm just going to use the um, all-purpose glue on here. I will just put a little bit of dotty tape pen on the end. And just wrap that up and bury that under some other stuff. So the one I was, this is a crafter's companion one. So the one that I was using before, this is um, a new one. You can see it's full there. Um, for some reason, it just the tape came off the reel. So even though it wasn't quite finished, um, I had to abandon it. But those tape dots should just hold it into position for me while we get that 
into place and that does look a little shorter than it should be but we will carry on. No, no we don't want that on there. This one. Oops. Um, there. Just the tiniest little bits just to hold it in place. So you can see we've got that kind of look like um, sometimes I do where you've cut away and then you've got this bit in the background. So if you wanted to still do that, you could come along, cut down here at one inch and um, do it as a bridge card instead. Um, but I just thought I would try a different look today. And even the second card, I think I'm going to do some kind of um, panels on as well. So I must be feeling in a, a bit of... Uh, Sometimes you just want to do a certain thing and panels is what was in my head today. So let's get this huge topper out. And around. I'm going to have to go around it with my scissors because it's got some little sticky out bits where it's been connected to the card. A nice thick gold mirror frame here. I don't think I'm going to be using that. But we will see. So what I'm going to do, just where the little pips were that was holding it in place, just going to go around and snip those off. Sometimes you can just feel them with your nail. And I'm just going to check there was some on the outside here as well. to be just a little bit proud sometimes you can just sort of pop them down with your nail um, but if they are a little bit proud like this then it's worth just going over them with the blade of your scissors um, or just really carefully with your knife oh, we're gonna hide all that lovely castle never mind let's come down he really looks like he's in the water there And the uh, sentiment I'm going to have to use, because it's the only one that's going to work with this topper, is have an utterly amazing day. So we've got choices where we could go. I think he needs to come down in the water, but we'll just... Yeah, I think I prefer him where he's got the... where the sort of hill sort of matches up a little bit and the edge of the, the um, sea there. And then we'll pop this somewhere around, find some nice blue, I don't know if I've got any teal colour gems, but we will have a little look. So let's grab some foam pads. And I've got these uh, one millimetre ones. So I was looking today, I was trying to find uh, my replacement blades from a knife because I've got like a box of them because it is like a proper scalpel it's a, a swan morton scalpel that i used uh, 40 years ago um bought it with a box of 100 blades and they lasted me for about 10 years um so i recently had to buy another box of 100 blades which i didn't mind doing there was only like about 13 pound or something like that it wasn't really hugely expensive so i'm 13 or 18 um but you know, when you know that they're going to last you 10 years, it's, it's not bad outgoing, is it really? Although saying that, now that I make videos, I may go through them a little quicker, but I don't think so somehow. So I'm just popping some glue on the back of these 1mm pads. And then I'm just going to come in, let's take that out of the way. Because I'm lining it up with a sort of coastline so he really looks like he's in there but I do want it to be a bit straight so I'm hoping that is straightish yeah I think that's not bad and then if I grab what 
could go with these two lighter ones because we're not going super high. I'm just going to work my way around there. And these are the quite thin ones. I think I've used the sort of fatter ones on, on other, other cards. off and I don't know if uh, any of you have seen but Hunky Dory are looking for, for a new person to make cards and on their channel and things so if you're down that way then put yourself forward for it even if you don't think you're good enough because nine times out of ten you actually will be because as crafters we do pretty much as a group put ourselves down a little bit. Um oh, it's not coming off. So what I would say is it's worth a go. If you're down that way, you know how often do you see an opportunity for the dream job come up if you're if I was down that way, I would have gone for it for sure. In fact, I tried to convince my sister that we should move up there, but she was not having none of it. She only wants to go as far as Oxford. But, yeah, definitely. Have a little go. You never know until you try. You can imagine spending all day just your actual job is to go to work and actual craft. I mean, how amazing would that be, really? And it's not like they do just one thing, you know, you've got, you'd have like everything because you've got the dyes, you've got the inks, you've got all the other craft supplies that are coming in now, all the other great things that they're coming up with. Wow, it would be. Amazing. So I've just got a little bit sticking up there, so I'm just gonna tuck that under it right now. So that's that one. So I'm not gonna bother with this one. We'll save that for um, another card. And then we just have to decide where we want that to go. So I could put it at the top, so it looks a bit like a, you know, those things that they do the cross stitches in. They have the little sort of frames. Um, I'm kind of feeling it a bit over there, but I don't know if it's getting a bit lost. No, it looks okay on the camera so I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to pick up these two little bits. These are the two millimetre again just because I've got those bits there and it's worth using them up. I'm pretty sure it will still go in the envelope. Because uh, that would be a big shame if it did not. So let's just pop that across there again. I'm going to just check that, so let's grab the, so these are the Hunky Dory Temple cards, because you know they, the thing I like about them is that they are actually the size they say they are, so they should fit in the envelope, even though we've got a 2mm, oh, look it looks roomy, so, let's see, perfect, okay, now we'll get it out, okay, now we just want some gems, so let's see what sort of gems. Oh, oops, one's right on the top here. I never got. Oh, yeah, they are perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's grab a pair of. And the, the different ones here, because these ones are slightly more green and these ones are slightly more blue. So I could go green. And then blue. I think what I'm going to do is do three of these green at the top. Let's go one. Oh, I'm quite close together. Two and three. And then that's all of those green ones gone. And then what I can do is grab one of these big ones. Oops, doesn't want to play. Come on, play the game. 
one and two there so I'm two four six seven so those are slightly more bluer anyway but hey ho we might get to use them on the next card but that is that first card so like I say if you wanted to you could cut that off cut that down there um, and then just stick these bits onto the edge um, leaving this piece in the middle as a free panel and that could be like um, a bridge card um, so you could do that but I just thought it's nice to try the sort of same effect without having to cut away I can just put a normal um, insert on the inside um, and I'm quite happy with that okay so that's card number one so I'm just going to get set up for card number two Okay, so for card number two, I'll come back to my comfort zone, my comfort size of six by 12 inches, and I'm just gonna score this at six inches. So I'm just making a normal little tent fold for this one. So let's take that out of the way for a minute. Let's get that out of the way. And then let's just get that to fold nicely. Come on now, on top. Okay, so we've got our little six by six tent fold. And then I need to grab my trimmer, which I did behind me. And I am grabbing a six by six piece of gold mirror card. Again, this is the got gold foiling on this sheet. And I'm just gonna take two notches off just because I like to see the white. If you don't like to see the white, then you can just go ahead and pop that straight onto your card and then just have one layer. I just like the extra layer, I like the white coming through. Okay, so I'm taking the uh, printed one with our little duck on and this one needs to be at five and three quarters square. Now, I'm going to take just a tiny bit off the bottom just because there's a tiny little dent on there. I'm thinking I want to keep that detail on the bottom. I could use it as a border. Still got a nice little panel there. I could foil on that of all sorts. Um, and I think that is all I need that for. So let's just pop that safely behind me. And I'm just going to double check fits on there quite nicely and that's not bad uh, let me grab oh I, need it. I still need that trimmer oh, okay honestly sometimes it get me in head well, at least I have got a medical excuse because uh, they found that I'm low in B12 so um, well they think that's the reason why I keep having issues with my memory and things so right so I've just got this scrap of um, gold and I don't think I want this to be very wide I think I'm gonna go one and a quarter inches and I'm going to do that at five and three quarters I want that to come across just that bit there not at the bottom but just across the, the length of it and then we have this piece from before now I think the check side might be a little bit too busy um, but the blue side should be fine so I'm just going to cut a piece at one and two notches and then again, I'm going to cut that to five and three quarters. And then we can see which side. That's the beauty of a double-sided piece of paper, really, isn't it? I mean, you've got the downside in that you have to pick one or the other. So I'm just going to take another two inch, two, two um, notches off that. So it will be just under five and three quarters. Or it'll be five and a half and two notches. So I want there to be the gold border all the way around. That's good. Is much better. Okay, so let's let's start with some assembling. 
so the first thing I want to do is pop this onto here again with my usual glues because I've come to sort of the end of my um, glue bottle for, for that one I literally just emptied the last of it into there um, today I think that's why it keeps getting a bit bunged up I'm guessing at the bottom of that glue bottle is the bits that have had a bit of air to them maybe um, so it's causing me a few problems but I still haven't bought a new bottle of it yet I do need to do that to order from probably from crafters companion is probably going to be the cheapest as long as you buy enough to get the free postage okay so that is there now let's have a look do we want it to be plain ba -dum -ba -dum. do we want it to be and I was going to turn the whole thing over do we want it I actually do quite like that It is. I think if anything it's going to be that side no I like it with it I think it does add something so we're going to do that and the other thing I'm going to do as well uh, let's just pop that on there so again on with the other side to the one that I thought I would this is how things change once you see things in motion um, I think that check is going to lift it right up for me well it will if I stick it right that's for sure there we go I think that's it make those connections with those glue dots okay so that's there and I think the other thing I'd quite like to do is well I've got this ribbon which is very similar in colour so I'm going to grab some scissors now do I want one or do I want two let's have a little look so I've got plenty of ribbon there and this would have come from um, AliExpress or Timu so I want two let's see well, let's put the one on we'll see I think one's going to be enough in the middle so we do that I did find my big roll of tape remember I told you I bought a sort of extra wide one so it keeps sort of coming in on itself so I have to keep straightening it out um, I had put it in a pile of things I'd moved to the floor just before the video which is why I couldn't find it but what I've been doing um, or what I'm going to try and do when I'm making these cards is just um, to these little bits that get left over from the kit rather, rather than put them in a wallet and then then we put on a shelf or whatever I'm, I'm making the cards of them there and then um, usually the last one actually was after the video um, so hopefully it should reduce the amount of things that I have to store um, and what I'm going to do is whatever I make I'll take photos of the same time that I take the photos of these I'm not altogether sure that's straight and it's not um, and then I'll just put them straight to my Pinterest so I'm not doing any videos on those they are just purely makes for the sake of making for this for this challenge that I'm doing or that I've set myself still haven't managed to get hold of them yet um, more my fault I think I tried to do it by the website but um, I don't think it worked so I have found them on Facebook so I am gonna send them a message and see if they would like the cards as well if they don't like the cards that's you know if they don't want the cards because some charities they don't do sort of 
fates and things, don't they? So um, they might not want the cards to sell, they might not have any way of selling them. Um, but if they do want them, then that's brilliant because that's I've got a way of getting them down there because my sister's going to go down there. Um, and you know, it's they've got the joy of selling them as well. And, and then there's extra funds, otherwise, it's just going to be my little just giving page that I'm going to set up when I can. We did get a date for the inquest for Anthony today, so and it's not that far away, 23rd of April. So I probably won't be, I don't know if that's going to fall on the video day or not. But we, it's quite, we've got to go. Well, I say we, it's only me and some other people going, not my sister here. She's just going to stay with the dogs, but um. And set out at five o'clock to get to North Yorkshire because it's like uh, it's not in Harrogate where he was, it's different court. So, so we might get to know if there was anything else going on with him that we didn't know about beforehand. You never know, do you? Yeah. Let's see, okay. All right, so I don't think I'm going to use the gold again. It's just I don't know whether I've just like got to the point where I just refuse to use them. Um, but then, um, yeah, I'm not going to use that again. Uh, let's grab our pads. Now, what did I do on the other? I did the um, outside with the two millimeter, didn't I? And then I did the inside with one. I think what I'm going to do with this one is do the these ones with one millimeter. So I'm going to have to use these little tiny ones. I did have a little half sheet here, I know I did. Okay, maybe I didn't. So let's just go around. Um, I'm getting to the point now, whenever I go looking for something, I find the last thing that I've looked for. Um, and I'm finding things I never knew I had. Like, I found a whole collection a whole collection of um, the um, range of distress pens. And then I remember Mama bought me them for Christmas one year because they were like, I had to have them and blah, 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 you know what it's like. Um, and then they've been put away. I don't think I've ever used them. I might have done a little bit of colouring with one pen at one time. But I've not not properly used them. So um, definitely need to get those out and have a little play. Sorry, these are all the little ones. So it can take me ages to get the backs off as well. So just make sure that's nice. And I have got a little cup at the side now, just trying to stop some of the fall onto the floor. Trying to be tidier, trying to be more organised. And to be fair, um, you know, once I've worked through some of these kits and stuff, um, I think it's going to be easier because there'll be less, less things to find. I'll tell you what I did find yesterday um, and this was when I was looking for something for the garden actually to be honest it was in one of the cupboards down here um, and that was um, I don't know if you remember from Create and Craft they did the Hunky Dory USBs I think they still do have them on their website sometimes so I found two of those so I really need to get those and have a little look see what's on them because obviously I have no idea now I think they all came with a free gift as well, didn't they? One I think was a key ring. But it seems like um, these sort of computer crafting seems to have uh, died down now. It seemed to be like a really big trend at one time. So I've just got these little, um, sort of like a little, it's not a fleur-de-lis, but a kind of like 
thing in, in the north, south, east and west. So I'm just going to make sure that I get those on the centre. So I've got the north and south and then I've got these east and west on that ribbon. So we've got that like so. And then we're going to come in with these. So let's get rid of that one. That's a piece of paper gold. Oh, we've got this one here that's got two on. So let's look at this. And I can just put that one there. Am I going to get away with using this up? No, probably not. Let's put that on there, though. And we can still get rid of that one. Just got to this point in my life of crafting that throwing things away when they're used up is just really satisfying. Um, you know, don't like really getting rid of things as such, but um, using things up, I do find quite satisfying. I don't know if you guys are the same. Okay, so let's just pop. And I did another um, order for Hunky Dory yesterday. Uh, I don't know if no, I wouldn't have told you that because it was only yesterday. Because um, I decided with um, like some of the things I've got here, um, they don't seem to have papers with them. Like there's the little book of toppers and things that I think probably come in a goodie box. Um, so I thought I'll um, I'll buy some the Duo Design pads because um, you know it's quite nice to have those papers there and they always come in, don't they? And I'd seen I'd watched Crafty Calamity and she'd um, opened the one Delightful Diamonds. Can't remember what the other picture on it is, but I quite like the diamonds. I think. It's would work with a lot of things I've been using this week um, with that floral kit. So I've got that one and I've got a couple of others. So with that other one that I ordered, the fantasy one, I should be quite well stocked up with the everyday um, foam pads. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I know these are two different colors. So I'm gonna go with, oh, come on let's, let's play the game. I'm gonna go with these two on that side and then I'm going to go one there oh I haven't put a sentiment on yet as well let's just pop that there let's just hold up let's see what we've got on here have we got something that's going to work oh, ribbon's got tangled up in it oh, no, going the wrong way mayhem okay what do we got so we've got especially for you what's that got on it this got the same flower on so let's use that it's got this sort of white flower which is here so we'll find a spot for that or we could use the you're so lovely oops it's not far that way no, I think I'll go with this one especially for you because then we can decide where we want that to go so we could have it on the bottom we could have it on the top it could come from the side, but I'm feeling it might be nice down there, or we could go just down there, or we could go across there. But I'm feeling there, I think. I think I'm liking that there for some reason. So let's just grab one of those little one millimeter pads, which is here. Especially where you know there's that Kylie and Jason song, isn't it? It's, when I was um, doing Anthony's order of services, um, so because there's quite a lot of work, I mean, each one takes about 40 minutes. But um, I would put the um, 80s music on the TV and then come in here. So that was quite nice to listen to. All those songs I used to love years and years ago. Okay, so to balance that out, what I'm going to do is just turn this around 
and then in this opposite corner here I'm going to use these up so that's another thing gone so if I pop one there and ideally I would like these to be a little smaller but I don't mind this size it's not too bad just going to do those and then that's going to make our seven that's going to end that sheet so that's all gone and then there I think we can stop I don't think Let's have a look. So let's have a look at this um, glitter pen. Let's see if it's working nicely today. Okay. This is um, like a, a sparkle overlay pen. So what I'm going to do is just paint over this flower. And this is the beauty of this uh, matte tastic is that you can do all of these little techniques to it if you wanted to. You could go in with your uh, quickie glue pen and. Uh, glitter but this is just really subtle and this could still be quite a masculine card because even though you've got this glitter on it's really hardly noticeable at all okay so I don't know if that's gonna pick up at all probably not maybe but that's that one so that's that finished so let me bring in that first card we did so we've got this lovely teal blue i love this teal blue color i think it's really feels really fresh um you know after all that christmas crafting and and just getting back into the summer crafting is nice even though um i know you know it's it's april we've only got may june july so two and a half months three months and then they'll be bringing out christmas kits i know it flies by doesn't it um, but that's it for today. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got, let's have a look, let's bring this back in. So I've got um, these two little toppers um, there, there and that border. I've got a piece of card with the duck on, another piece of card. And then we've got a huge piece with those otters on. I apologize so um the camera cut out i forgot the 25 minute rule so with my because this is a proper camera not an actual video camera it only records around about well on a good day 25 minutes um on a bad day 19 <laughs> so um sometimes if i talk too long it it cuts out and if i've not noticed it but i just literally literally was just wrapping up really the um, so th this is quite a big piece here um, and what I think I might do is find some kind of circle die um, and I'm going to cut that out, uh, just pop that onto a card and if I can find the sentiment in my Spellbinders um, glimmer dies that says something like popping by to say hi or popping by to wish you a happy birthday or popping up, I think that might fit in really well with that one um, and I think this one's probably going to be quite plain as well. Uh, maybe a little bit of that um, crystal uh, sparkle overlay on the on the water would be nice there as well um, but um, you'll see those pictures when they go up um, I will um, pop these cards on Pinterest and I'll also pop on the other cards that I've made as well just in case you want to look at them um, if you've got any questions just just send us a message on Facebook or YouTube um, but hopefully um, I'm going to put all the details on there that's what I plan to do in case you want to recreate that if you manage to get that kit in your goodie box um, but that's it for today then thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves happy crafting bye